everyone, Hillary here. So, happy Monday, or at least what's left of it. It's 11.26 in the p.m. So, I actually woke up a little while ago. I had a really hard time sleeping again. So, anyway, um, how are you all? How was your Sunday? And how was your Monday? Have you... Uh, I'm just... Sorry, I'm just kind of still waking up and getting things ready, I guess. My brain, at least. See? <laughs> but anyway, how have you been? Everything been going okay? Has your Monday been the usual stereotypical one, or has it been a really good one? I hope it's been a good one. So, anyway, I honestly stayed up until like 3 p.m. today, or yes, today, and I was playing a game called Slime Rancher, which is a kind of like a ranch, but like an alien ranch kind of game. Really fun. And so I lost track of the time and, well, that's what happens. So it's kind of like, it's one of my favorite hobbies, gaming is one of my favorite hobbies. And so, you know, when you're just in a project or you're doing something and they just lose track of time, well, that happened to me today. So oh, anyway, it's been a kind of a, like, mentally, well, I guess it's been a mentally taxing day when it comes to planning and stuff, so I've got some laundry I need to do, as always, and so I'm going to do that after this, and, you know, one of the cons of waking up during the night, you have to do things quietly, and so if I wanted to, like, vacuum, I have to do that during the day. Otherwise, I might wake up other people in the house. So, anyway, but I don't know. My brain is just kind of going on as usual. Still thinking about the wedding, still dwelling on things. The usual thing. And honestly, like, planning for the game, too. You know? Like, if you've ever played a video game, it depends on the game, but this there are certain games that take a lot of planning. You know? So this is one of them. If you're curious about what I'm talking about, it's a game called Slime Rancher. It's on Steam, and it's really, really cute. The game itself is just a very relaxing, somewhat stressful, but most of the time relaxing experience. Where you go out and you collect these little aliens, and then you put them on your farm and feed them, and then you collect what they give you. It's not like... It's essentially like... <laughs> They're called plorts, and they're essentially their poop, <laughs> and you gather them, and I know it sounds really gross, but they're like little crystals, so it's not like graphic or anything, it's a Raid E game. Um, so you go and you sell them, and then do it all over again. It sounds really, really simple, and it is, but you have to think about like the food that they eat, because they don't all eat the same thing, and... Um, there's a danger of them not liking each other, to put it in a way. So, without going into too much detail, I'm, you know, sorry if you don't like video games, it's just been on my, been on my mind. But, it's, um, you can have two, you can have as many as you want, really, but it's recommended to have two different slimes in a corral and make sure they get along. Meaning, so these little aliens can combine, all right? So you've got these little tiny, like, jelly balls. They're super cute, and they have really cute little faces, and they're, I like them. Um, so I actually would love to have, uh, like, a, a stuffed animal or some or stuffed version of them. They're so cute. Ugh. They're, I mean, you... If you want to take a look, there's a picture, you know, take a, take a look at a picture from the Game Slime Manager because they are super, super cute. Anyway, so it's recommended to have two slimes in one corral because they morph together. But you can't have more than two slimes morph together, otherwise they have a bad reaction and they become what they call tar. It's like this, once again, it's kind of cute, but it's still, it'll essentially turn all of your slimes into tar which they do not do anything um, and they attack the player 
So, also, if you have, like, because they eat food, anything nearby, they will consume. Not, like, the buildings, but, like, the food, any other slimes that you have around, and they get their ha their slimy tentacle. It's not tentacles, but it's like a, well, I guess it could be compared to that, but they reach out and they grab them, and then they just make them into one of them, and if, I've had that happened once and luckily I've been playing the game for a long time and so I knew what to do. The only way you can get rid of them is unfortunately um, <laughs> throw them into the sea which the um, the, sl the ranch itself is by the slime sea which is a sea that's like made up of slime or something you can't swim in it so um, you have to unfortunately put them back where they came from and that is the slime sea which in the lore or in the story they say like they come from the sea you know they just redevelop and stuff it's in other words people were feeling really bad about killing things <laughs> and the developer said hey this is what's going on you know don't think of it as killing them you know so sorry about the little ramble but you know that's what I do and Sorry if you're not interested in video games, because that's honestly how, what I've been thinking about, and <laughs> I don't know. It's just so simple, but a simple little thing is very addictive to me. I'm the kind of person that if I listen to, like, if I hear a song, for example, and I really like it and I want to learn it, I'll listen to it over and over and over. Drive everybody around me crazy, and myself crazy, honestly, by listening to it. Especially if I'm learning it for class or like choir or um, for a musical or even just performing. I love music. I really do. But I drive myself crazy because <laughs> I listen to it at least 10 times. More than that, most likely. And then I'll listen to it more and more and try to um, see what the essence of it is and then try to... If I can, like for choir, you have to replicate it. Usually you can't put your own style into it unless if it's a teacher that's putting their style into it um, or lets you do that. But when you're performing, you put you always put your own essence into it. Otherwise, it's just you're singing in the song and that's it. So I try to transform it a little bit more, especially since I love some songs, but I could not really replicate them. For example, um, the song Sound of Silence, gorgeous, you know, it's by Simon and Garfunkel, and I did my own version with a ukulele and a different key tone because that key for me was a little bit too low. So, and also speaking of singing, thank you so much for watching the videos. There's much more than usual. Thank you so much for watching yesterday or Saturdays quotation marks videos I really appreciate it because I didn't know that well I I had a feeling people wanted me to sing but I don't know thank you for the views <laughs> is what I'm trying to say and thank you so much for watching this channel sorry for going on about games but if you want to hear more I'll probably do another vlog or I will wait until I get more feedback depending on how I'm doing and how, what I, my mood is so Anyway, um, with that, it's almost nine or nine minutes in. So if you like these little rambling videos, please hit the subscribe button over there and hit the bell if you want to be notified of when I upload videos more often. Because, I don't know, it's a little bit finicky otherwise. There's, I think the like button's here. Hit the like button if you like the video and comment down below if you want to talk with me. I read all of them. And at the very least, I'll put a heart next to it so that you know that I saw it and that I liked it. So anyway, um, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope that your weekend was wonderful, and I hope you all are well. Be safe, and I'll talk with you more later on. Bye for now, everybody. Mwah.